So uh, I didn't put my tooth in today. This is 2021, 8.30 in the morning. I'm finally getting the opportunity to go into the corridor. I have waited so many years for this. And I got lucky enough that my buddy Lou decided to drive to uh, the Grand Canyon in 2021. So now I'm hiking my way to the Brim Trail and then I'm gonna proceed down South Kebab and then up Bright Angel. Give you an idea of what I'm looking at. Last snow is maybe 30 degrees, 40 degrees out here. I'm wearing my micro spikes just in case the front of the trail looks a little bit icy. I think it's actually gonna be fine though. I think I'm overdoing it. I'll probably take them off, but feels good to be back from last year's summer. Completely different scenario. Let's see what we got going on here, huh? There she is. I'll be spending about eight hours down there hopefully today and that's about it. I gotta hike over to where those cars are over there and then start down the trail to Ua uh, 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 Point. On the South Kabab Trail now. Looks like I got a little snow cover, a little dusting on the top. But it looks like the the bottom looks real good, so I'll be able to take these micro spikes off a little bit here. Right now the trail conditions are frozen, but not overly aggressive, where you have to really worry about nothing sloppy. So it's nice and cold. I'm sure this afternoon when it thaws, it's going to be a mess. My son and I like to call it ooh-ah point, instead of ooh-ah point. But that's what it looks like in the middle of March. Sun coming up. Hello, Canyon. What do you think of this? About three and a half miles in, Skeleton Point. I already feel it in my butt. This is a good hike. That pretty. These plants right here are just so cool. We got these in Missouri too. They're not that cool though. Here we are. About to get real. It's warm. I can feel that sun just beating down on my legs. Already down to t-shirt. That's Cedar Ridge up there. The sun's out. It's honestly really warm out here. It's got to be 50 degrees. I'm about to start taking some clothes off. I'm afraid I'm going to go around this. This, uh, I don't know what I call it. This edge. And then it's going to get cold on the other side. But no wind. Sun's out. I'm in the Grand Canyon. I think, I think I'm about as happy as I could possibly be right now. Give you a thumbs up. Just really enjoying myself. Whew. It's just so quiet. I'm about three and a half miles in. Having my first uh, snack. This is Lenny's and Larry's. It's pretty good, man. It's a cookie, chocolate chocolate cookie. 
Um, all plant-based, so it's not too hard to cut. I'm about two hours in right now. There's an oasis over there. I won't be able to see it right yet. Some guy coming up. Trail is leveling off a little bit. It almost looks like a, like a savanna compared to what we were going through before, but there's still a huge drop. Um, but getting closer to the Colorado now. You can start seeing the canyon where the Colorado cuts. Just beautiful. Nice and quiet. But yeah, this cookie's pretty good. 10, uh, 16 grams of protein, which is way too much for what I'm trying to do right now. But uh, it's early enough where I'm like, I want a chocolate chip cookie. I'll tell you what it looks like. Nice chunk. Good solid cookie. Good snack. Makes me drink some more uh, Pedialyte, which you can get at Walmart. Both these products. Over in Flagstaff. So, interesting story. So, this family took 10 years to get this stall down here with paperwork. Their son loved this tip off point here. And uh, they went through all the paperwork, took them 10 years, and then they flew it in with a helicopter. It literally was here, was not here one day, and was here the next day. This is called, I believe, Tip Off Point. And as you can see, it's phenomenal. Now it's time to take the rocks out of my shoes because I got a few of them in there and they're starting to irritate my tozers. This right here, this is why you work. This is why you work out. This is why you stay healthy. This is why you say, Yes, to taking a car ride with an old friend in a Tesla. This is why you, you pack your clothes just in case you get an opportunity to do something so spectacular as this. It's unbelievable. It's truly, truly phenomenal. The fact that somebody, it's people built this trail so that everybody can enjoy it. Next time though, I'll definitely be staying in the corridor. That or I gotta do some more of this. I'll be back. Check it out. There's the Colorado. There's the rafters. There's the bridge. About seven miles in. Feel like I'm getting close, but there's a lot of switchbacks left. Was that we got the mule train? Is it okay if I continue to walk here? Right. I was hoping I'd see you guys. That's so impressive. I wish I had muscles like that. <laughs> Look at you, badass. Horses or mules. Keep them tight, keep them tight, right? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your walk. Hey guys. This is killing my ever speed but i just can't stop taking video and pictures this is ridiculous i get like 15 feet and it's just another gorgeous topography that i have to take a remembrance shot of this is just unbelievable we just saw the colorado for the second time now we're into like some red red sand it looks just so cool steep as usual though all right so Second uh, meal so far is Parents Choice Berries and Oats Fruit Puree. Just sampled it. It's um, honestly a lot better than goo. I think I'd rather have this um, than a goo or a hammer gel. I bet you it's very close to the same thing. Look at all the, the good stuff, man. The real fruit, no artificial flavor. I bet you it's probably better than the majority of the stuff you can buy at the store. So, so far, I've been babying myself with some Pedialyte and some uh, some baby food and some cookies. So how can you go wrong on a canyon hike? 
Ah, here we go. Into the tunnel. Let's see what it looks like when I do this. How cool is this? And there's the bridge. How awesome is that? It's recommended that you go down South Kaiba because of difficulty, and that it's about seven and a half to eight miles long. Uh, the continuation to Bright Angel is about 18 miles. This is all outlined on All Trails app. There's water readily available. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please like and subscribe.